In this part of the simulation, we're going to do some delicate suturing. Um, this simulator is a foam insulator from Menards for a one inch pipe. It's the very spongy type that's commonly used for air conditioning lines rather than indoor water lines. The task is to close this uh, laceration without penetrating either the outer lining or the inner lining. It's very delicate foam so a light hand is required and that's typical of the rectal wall. The suture we're going to use is CT2 and it would be 3O or 4O Vicryl. Um, you enter the spongy tissue with a very delicate touch, release the needle, grab it and follow through with the arc of the needle so that you don't tear it through. And we're going to close about an inch of this substance. Go straight across. Again, neither penetrating the inner or outer layer. The smaller needle allows this smoother work. Uh, the CT1 needle is a little too big. These sutures should be about a centimeter apart as we move outward. And you start at the end of the vaginal, end of the rectal laceration and put a stitch at the end of it or right at or right beyond the end of it. This is slow, tedious work. It requires a soft hand, good light, and lots of patience. A careful approximation of this layer of rectal wall is the key to preventing rectal vaginal fistulas. So extra time and patience spent here pays off. And you can gently pull this together as you go because you can't drag it at the end. I find in these kind of delicate repairs often your hand works better than forceps. Sometimes you need to use thumb forceps to reach, but often your hand is the most effective retractor. Again, as you pass the needle, make sure that you curve it on the way out so it doesn't tear. Follow the curve of the needle. And we'll just do one more complete one to show this repair. And don't get caught on your tools. <clears throat> and then you can gently use your thumb forceps to tighten things up a little bit. But gently, you don't want to be pulling these out after you've spent so much time putting them in. Okay, and we would have tied the initial one, of course, and we would tie the last one, but this demonstrates the closure of a delicate tissue area. This task is to approximate the internal rectal sphincter over our rectal repair. As noted in the previous portion of the film, we've closed this uh, black uh, pipe insulation in a delicate way. Now we're going to close over it the Chuck's pad that represents the uh, internal rectal sphincter without penetrating the blue pad. So we skim along these connective tissue layers delicately pull the needle up go across into this tissue layer Carry it up. S 
skim along the tissue layer, picking up the delicate internal rectal sphincter. And cross over to the other side. Follow the, the curve of the needle. You can close this properly. You can close a uh, internal rectal sphincter. They're actually more durable than this uh, white tissue. But this is good practice. And don't snag on your tools because a snag on your tools often will rip your whole repair out. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> and you can gradually tighten this up. So it's actually possible to repair this layer. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a delicate touch. You have to follow your needle curves. And there we are, repaired. Again, this is really not the perfect simulator, but it gives you a chance to practice delicate suturing. Remember, the, the needle should be tapered. We've used CT1s and CT2s. The CT2s have a little smaller curve and fit inside small spaces better like the foam pipe fitting. The rest of it we used CT1. CT1s on typically 3-0 Vicryl would work fine for almost everything we've done.